June 20th, 1998, at an airstrip in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, speed demon Tom Seidel is preparing to push his jet-powered fire truck towards a new Guinness record. The fastest thrust-driven heavy truck on Earth. The old record Tom wants to smash, 264 miles an hour. I've been racing since 1962, racing bikes, boats, cars, dragsters, you name it, I raced it. There was always a winner and always a loser. I've been both. Not bad for 53, huh? Tom is 53 years old, a racing veteran and business owner from Navarre, Florida, who plans to go faster than he's ever gone before. This is what he hopes will get him there. The Hawaiian Eagle. His two and a half ton, $1.5 million jet powered fire truck. It's the culmination of Tom's lifelong dream to hold a Guinness speed record. My wife and I tried to figure out what would appeal to everybody. Well, a fire truck. Every kid in the world knows what a fire truck is. I took and designed it, built it, took me three years to build it, and voila, fire truck. And what a fire truck it is. The chassis and roll cage are made from 4130 chromoly, a tough but flexible alloy used in aircraft frames. Its six high performance tires are land speed rated, but have still been known to shred chunks of rubber when hitting the outrageous speeds Tom's attempting. And if you're wondering what's under the hood, don't bother. The Eagle doesn't have an engine, at least not in the conventional sense. Now, this thing is powered by two Rolls-Royce Bristol Vipers. They're putting out about an honest 6,000 pounds of thrust each, and they're complete with afterburn. The price for these state-of-the-art jet engines? $640,000 each. According to Tom, driving the Eagle is easy. You just point it in the direction you want to go, fire the engines, and hang on. The sticky part comes when you have to stop. The brakes are virtually worthless until we get lower than 100 miles an hour. Because of the speed, just tapping the brakes will boil the fluid in there instantly. To slow down, Tom employs the same technology used by the space shuttle, a decreaser parachute. Nearing zero hour, Tom wedges himself into the roll bar reinforced cab. He locks on the steering wheel and tests it for strength. His harness employs an instant release button should he require a hasty exit from the cab. Next is crash helmet followed by fire retardant gloves made out of the same material as his suit. If the record attempt goes awry, an airport emergency vehicle is at the ready. Tracking guns will be used to verify Tom's speed. Tom is in position. I just drive it by the seat of my pants. It's how does it feel? If it doesn't feel good, then I get out of it. It's time for the countdown. Three, two, one, go! Tom drops the hammer. Both engines are at full throttle now. That's it, he's popped the chute. He's slowing it down. Wow, according to the tracking guns, Tom's speed was in excess of 400 miles per hour. He's done it, he's set a new Guinness record. Tom bested the previous record by an astounding 140 miles per hour. As we see in this replay, Tom's record-breaking speed makes that plane look like it's standing still. They told me it was 407 miles an hour today. So we backed that up, so that's a new world record. Tom takes us through the record-setting run. The truck was running good. It was straight. It was very calm. I went ahead and cranked it up to about 105%. Of course, afterwards, I thought, darn, if I'd have just held in there about another half a second, I'd have hit 410. <laughs> Which brings us back to our bar bet. Who would win a head-to-head -head race between the Hawaiian Eagle and a Gulfstream turboprop plane? Tom's speed was a scorching 407 miles an hour. The Gulfstream's 328 miles an hour. Not even close. Of course, Tom Seidel never doubted that for a second. The man obviously feels the need for speed. <laughs> 